In this video, we are taking you on a full day of eating common street food in one of Germany's major cities, Cologne. Not just German street food, but we are taking you to explore some of the various international options from Western Europe all the way to East Asia, as those are amongst the most popular street food options throughout the country. No fancy sit-downs today, only good old bang for your buck snacks and takeout. All right, so we're in the heart of Cologne and the first stop we're going to is right behind me. It's called Land Metzgerei Richrath and it's part of a Rewe supermarket. However, they say they have a butcher shop as well and it's some typical German imbus style food that means you just pick it up at the counter get it on your hand to go but they have some special items not just the regular bratwurst brötchen so let's go and check it out all right we get our stuff from the first place the Richrats Landmetzgerei so Richrats whatever butchery and we got two items actually wanted to get a small Huxa a small pork knee which would be a very unusual street snack but today was rib day so we didn't have the pork knee they also offer soups of the day but they were out already from lunch menu anyway what we've gotten are two things this is the first one this is called a Bratenbrötchen and if you look at this here it has a good chunk of roasted pork on there. It's a little bit similar to the Sauerbraten you get in this area a lot. And then he put a lot of stir-fried onions on top, which are slightly glazed in this like reddish looking thing. These are the cheap, very common bread rolls. That's very common at German imbesses, these street food stalls. And the Braten is kind of a bit of more of a premium topping though. Let's see how and it how is. And how much was that? And this was four euro 80, so five euros. Um, let's see how good it is. It smells really good as soon as we walked up to the stop. The shop and he handed mm. it over. Mm. Very tender for pork meat. I'm gonna show you something here. Check it out, two slices of this roasted pork. There's onions in between. It's not dry at all. It's juicy because of the onions and of the sauce the onions are in. And the pork meat itself also has this crust on it. Red, lightly seasoned. It's a very good snack. I think this is also very heavy because of the toppings. For five euro, this is a good start. Pretty German snack. And I have a classic German sausage here. This is a Rostbratwurst and this was 3.20. Not bad, very long. It's so typical. You get it in this like, this white Brötchen, like this white bread roll. Yeah, same bread And then you have roll. it, they stick out. These are classic. You'll find this at every street fair, Christmas market. It's just a very normal thing. With mustard, I prefer mustard. Oh yeah. Mm. I sometimes say I'm not a big sausage person, but every time we get a sausage, I'm really happy. I like the hearty ones. I like this better than like a Frankfurter. I think it's like nice, it's juicy. It has herbs and flavor in there and it just has a nice grill. This is my kind of stuff and I haven't even gone to the bread yet, so. I feel like that's the stereotypical German snack, is it? Mm-hmm. There you have it, picking a blanket. I feel like the bread's always slightly stale. Like it tastes so much better when it's fresh out of the oven, nice and fluffy. I think the best part of this is the sausage. Yeah, I think there are two very common things at this first imbus. The first one is they use the cheap bread rolls and I think they get them in the morning, probably from the Rewe supermarket they're attached to. And then the second thing is, I think all of he offered was uh, pork meat, right? Yeah. Pork sausage, pork steak, roasted pork. Pork ribs, yeah. haxa, yeah. So if you don't eat pork, uh, I don't know if this is your option. <laughs> There's so much better. Yeah, <laughs> this one is standard. I think if you ask any middle-aged German person, you say Imbiss, the first thing I think is Bratwurst in a bread roll. But that thing is far superior and I think worth the upcharge. Throughout Germany, you'll find places with the word Imbiss, which translates to snack stand but it can also mean a quick meal, somewhere that is easy to grab and go or quickly eat at a table. You'll often find imbiss style Döner and Currywurst shops in Germany. We've eaten both Döner and Currywurst a lot in our previous videos. The imbiss options are great for lunch break workers, hungry tourists, or if you're just craving some of these delicious food options. 
Second street food spot is Kani's restaurant. It's called Kani's Imbiss and Schnell restaurant, which means just a quick takeout thing. They have a couple of seats, but we're probably gonna take it away. And this is like a Middle Eastern food-ish thing. As I said earlier, we don't wanna do just German street food today because these things are very common in Germany. Actually, that type of takeaway street food is more common than the German style. So we'll see what they have and get something a little more spicy probably. All right, so we went to Connie's Embassy. They have a lot of the typical shawarma stuff. You can get the chicken from the skewers there, but I wanted to get something vegetarian because they have a lot of vegetarian options. So I got falafel with pomace. And they even advertise as a vegan yeah. restaurant, like option. And it was three of these beautiful breads laid down and you have some vegetables in there. And then the falafel and the fries as well came in. And I'm just gonna take a bite of it. it looks so good. Mm. It looks wow. so colorful. It's like nicely flame grilled, the bread, and then colorful on the inside as well. One more bite so you can get a nice view. You have fresh vegetables in there. You see the carrots, the lettuce, there's cabbage in there. They asked what kind of sauce we wanted. There was a cocktail, a spicy, or a yogurt sauce. We did spicy with yogurt in here, and this is so good. So this is $6.50 for this large style falafel wrap. The small one is five euros but you have the fries in there. The falafel is right there. I haven't even gotten to bite into the falafel yet. And throughout Germany, you'll find a lot of Turkish and Middle Eastern cuisine. There's a lot of halal things. I think it's one of the best street food options or one of the most common ones that you'll see around here. And I feel like this one tastes so good. Uh, I wish we had this in Dusseldorf. <laughs> I think I would get it more often. The outside is nice and crispy. The inside is so fresh, but also very flavorful at the same time. The vegetables in there just make it really fresh. And you can see the falafel there. Wow, Ooh, it's so colorful. With a very nice kick. I'm pleasantly surprised. This is my stuff, it's so good. But one other thing that is so common at most imbuses and kiosks are these dish lesha. It's like thirst quencher. This peach one is my favorite. <laughs> I freaking love it. I think there's a lot of calories. It's so much sugar in Don't here. Don't you feel like a kid every time you do the straw thing? Yes. Like you did right now? It's beautiful. Look, now she's a little baby. I freaking love these. These are my summertime drinks in Germany. They're so sweet, they're delicious. It's peach flavored. Oh, I freaking love it. Now that's refreshing. <laughs> yeah, we stepped out to this little park here. I think the Hochschule Fresenius over there, which is a pretty well-known university, college thing here in Cologne. But yeah, in good old street food manner, you just look for the next steps and sit down, and eat your food right there Enjoy and drink your Durstlöscher. Yeah. yeah. Usually I go for the döner because I think the shawarmas often are slightly below it, but they can be very good. So I'm just gonna see. Again, talking mm. it down before he takes a bite so he can be pleasantly surprised when he eats it. No. <laughs> this is you every time. <laughs> mm. That is really good. It's so flavorful coming from the German food. Um, it's just stronger, spiced. The herbs, the spices come just out way more with this Middle Eastern cuisine and I freaking love it. The best thing about this thing is the bread. I think they grill it at this contact grill. It's slightly crunchy, but she, like Diana said, used like three of them. Awesome. This is basically as big as street food can get because this is their signature plate with the wasp on it. Oh, he's, no, 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 no. Oh my God. This is the Kani Teller. So a lot of these shawarma places, döner places, they offer the döner and stuff not only in bread, in like the sandwich form or the roll form, like the shawarma, but also at a plate, like as a standard dish to sit down on. And usually they're more expensive, but you get more stuff as you can see here. So this one comes with chicken meat, which goes on the shawarma, white rice, there's some lettuce here with a tomato in there, shredded carrots, more um, iceberg lettuce, a little bit of sweet corn, tomato slices, a bread on the side. And then again, we chose the white sauce and the spicy sauce. Oh, and hummus, of yeah. course. So if you're hungrier, you can opt for something like that. It's often um, offered at places where you can sit down. They had a couple of seats there. And uh, this one is 11 euros. So this is kind of as big as you can get with the imbis culture, the kiosk here, the street food. Let me see, a little bit of meat here. Get some of that chicken meat, some greens. Oh, there's onions as well, I forgot to mention. What a colorful fork full of stuff. There we go. 
The meat is very nice. They just cut it off the typical Döner Shawarma grill. You know how hummus is a little thicker usually? This is a little bit of a thinner one, almost like a hummus sauce, but that's nice. And then they give you one of these breads on the side and if you want to, you can kind of like build your own shawarma version with it. And then you just roll it up like that and you have your own shawarma. Mm. If I'm doing takeaway, I prefer the roll. It's easier. This is a little messy to do takeaway. I would enjoy this in the restaurant. True. This I'll take on, take it to go, eat it at home. Also, I think this is value-wise very hard to beat. It's also a lot. We, we, we've both taken like, I don't know, several bites out of this and still have a full thing. This is a, this is a good size for sure. Thank you. Give it to me. <laughs> As we make our way to the next Imbus, please subscribe for more videos with the bell notification. It's free. If you want to further support us, you can do that on patreon.com slash Phil. And a big thank you to these patrons. Ethan Mitchell, Heather Kuffner, Hessen Metro, Shar Mills, Tarek Malkosh, Stephanie Ann, Megan Rosati, Klaus Izart, Lee Lim, Robert J. Casper, Marian Damad, Sherry and Keith Dennis, Jessica Saranska, and Jeff Standen. Thank you. So this last place we came to is an Asian Imbus restaurant, a quick street food takeout. It's even called Asian street food and snacks. And we got a noodle box and these types of takeaway noodle boxes. They're super common throughout Germany in big cities as well as in small towns. So very common German street food as well. Well, not German street food, but street food in Germany. You have different options. We got the one with crispy chicken. You can get the regular chicken without the crispiness, which is not deep fried then. There's fish options, there's duck options often. And uh, this one is just a classic. So you got these typical noodles out of the wok. Dude, they're so good. You just can't go wrong. You know exactly how they taste if you had them once. They're slightly oily. They're carb heavy. It's noodles, right? There's a little bit of cabbage with it, a little bit of shredded carrots and spring onion, but very lightly. Overall, just a greasy pack of noodles. And then you have the deep fried chicken pieces in there. Mm. Dude, they're just my favorite. Every time my uh, conscience says, go, don't go for the deep fried version. Don't go for the crispy version. But then my taste buds say the crispy version it is, and I never regret it. It's so good. It's this crispy outside, and then the juicy, oily, tender chicken breast on the inside. I love fried chicken. Also, as you can see behind us, uh, this one says street food, and we are on the street, but they have like three of these wooden benches here, which is also pretty common that uh, some stores do that. So you have a place to quickly inhale your food and then get out of there. So you'll find this all throughout Germany, ranging from like five euros to like eight euros, depending on the toppings that you put on there. I mean, they're good. They're fried noodles in a wok. If you crave it, you get it. It's usually my go-to like Sunday evening when all the restaurants are closed meal. But they always have good drinks and like Asian drinks. There's a lot of lychee drinks. We decided to go with the mango one today. And uh, let's give it a try. I just love it. Mango drink without bubbles in there. So nice. Mango and peach, that's like, that's my stuff. So I wanted to get fried shrimp. They don't have it. <laughs> They're out today. So I just got some spring rolls and these are just frozen spring rolls. You deep fry them in there and um, yeah, we'll give them a try. They're standard deep fried frozen spring rolls. Show me the bite. Vegetarian. This is, if you crave it, you crave it, you know? It's not, this, is, this isn't a gourmet Asian meal. Well, I'm craving it, so here we go. Also a little sriracha sauce there. Very common that they have sriracha on the stand that you can put it on yourself. Very oily. But it's this flavor, they have this certain flavor. You know the fried noodles have this certain flavor? Like Yana says, you crave it and you want it and you get exactly what you want and it's awesome. Fried pecan. All right, so that was our city street food tour here in Cologne, Germany. I think the city has a lot to offer, not just the dome that you see in the background. Let us know which street food you like the best and what should we try next. As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye. We came prepared. This is how you film food videos when you don't want to eat too much and then pass out in the middle of the video. It's not so much about not wanting to eat as much, but uh, shouldn't. should you? <laughs> oh yeah. I will enjoy this on the couch in my sweatpants.